Today a quick video about the artworks I did in February and it's going to be very fast because I made just two. So <laughs> the first artwork I finished is the one about the Indonesian deforestation. I made a lot of videos about that one and so here it is. <laughs> The Indonesian rainforests have experienced a loss of 50%, hence why I divided the artwork in two. 50% of the rainforest is still there and the other 50% has been either converted to palm oil plantation or other agriculture plantation. So it's not just palm oil, there are many different things. It's just palm oil is like the biggest thing because it's just so cheap and Everyone wants it and you can use it in anything from soap to facial lotion to cookies and food and um, margarine, vegan butter or whatever. So yeah, it's a very, very big money making thing on a very short term and <laughs> most humans just look at the short term because yeah, whatever. I made two perfect squares to show the loss, the 50% loss. So I think it's rather visual and I added some text. Kind of wanted to have something a bit snappy and don't go into too much details. Because honestly, I think most people just don't really care. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I want to be really hopeful. But I know most people, even when knowing what palm oil causes to the environment, they're just going to be like, nah, I cannot do anything anyway, so I'm just going to continue using whatever products have that palm oil, I just, I don't care. And I mean, it's saddening and it's, it can make one angry or I don't know. But I just keep hoping that from all the people who are going to see my artwork or watch this video, watch my channel, there's like a tiny percentage of people, like, I don't care, maybe maybe not even 1%, who's going to think, hmm, I think I need to work on that one. And that's all I'm, I'm asking. I think, honestly, if just 10% of the world would just actually actively do something about it, it might might help. I'm hopelessly idealistic in that in that way. And the other artwork I finished just yesterday it took me really long. If you trypophobic, probably don't watch the couple minutes because there's a lot lot of lotus parts. And so I'm just I don't if you're just disgusted then it's okay. But if you're like starting to get panic attacks you just want to avoid that. So I don't know, maybe listen to my voice and watch your wall? I don't know. So this artwork I called Controlled Anger and it's sad because <laughs> it just looks awful on picture and even on, on video. So I don't know what to do about that. I think it looks great in person because you, you're drawn in by the red color and then you see all the details and then you kind of draws you in because you want to see what are all those tiny blue little things and then you just get in and then you you see everything and i think that's real interesting and i also really like the subject which is about anger which is that the big red raspberry red space which is encased by rational thinking and control which are all those tiny plants, all those sculptures, which took ages to make. And I think that's, that's quite accurate because anger is something that washes over you in just like a second. Whereas rational thinking is something you grow over the years and you learn to control your emotions. I don't say you have to ignore your emotions. That's not my, my point. The anger is here. It's there. It's there, all right? I mean, it's not being denied its existence. It's more like it's control. You are angry, okay, you, are, you acknowledge it, and maybe you do something about it. Why are you angry? Is it because something went wrong? Is it because of your friends or family? Is it because of the state of the world? Is it because of Trump? Stuff like that. 
is it politics is it something else and then you work on it so rather than just being angry and yelling and insulting other people which happens a lot on youtube lots of angry people out there instead of that instead of giving into the anger you acknowledge it and you do something about it so that's kind of the idea behind that that's painting so i think it, it kind of at least it's it's how i envisioned it and i think it works even though it doesn't look quite as dashing in in pictures as it is in real well dashing is maybe a bit overrated but. other than that i participated in two art competitions so this one i sent into the david shepherd's wildlife conservation and I sent a few pieces to Miniatures and more in Albuquerque. Is it, is it how you pronounce it? Albuquerque? I think so. And yeah, that's about it. And I learned a bit more about how to approach galleries because I was under the impression, or at least I read a few articles about that, that you don't approach galleries directly. It's better to have friends who are in the gallery and then go through those friends and was like, I don't have any friends in galleries. I just, I'm just, um, I, 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 I don't know any artists on a personal basis, at least not. So I was like, okay, this is going to be interesting. And so I, um, I applied to a few art fairs. I'm still kind of waiting to see if I get in or not. We'll see. Uh, well, I was accepted for the Florence, the art fair in Florence, but. Apparently it's a bit too big and it's so expensive. I don't really think I'm ever going to put so much money in that. And I I found a free webinar or I saw a free webinar about art galleries. And basically he says to just go for it, to go where you live, um, find galleries you like, um, make your first contact and then just write them. So this is pretty much what I'm going to do, but I wanted to have more, pot more more artworks for my portfolio. This one was supposed to be in my portfolio, but honestly, it's, it looks great when I look at it. But when I see it on picture, I'm like, mm, not going to go very well. So I don't know. I think it doesn't really matter. I probably am going to just um, phone a few galleries and ask them if they're interested in... Um, in new artists. A fear of rejection is true. <laughs> it's, it's something that is like, I don't know, it's, it's, it can be a little bit overwhelming. It's like you, you do all that hard work and then you don't really want um, people to see you work and then come to you and then, mm, no, no, that's, that's, mm, mm, no. And I feel like it's probably going to happen quite a lot and I need to get used to that idea and maybe I'm not, just not quite ready for that yet. It's like before starting the YouTube channel I always thought no I don't want to go on YouTube because people can be nasty and mean and and when I felt ready I decided to open my YouTube channel and now I get nasty comments sometimes and most of the time unless it's something that I struggle with myself. I'm just like, mm, okay, but this is different because <laughs> crawls or nasty comments on YouTube, it's just people who have no life. Someone who owns an art gallery and tells you your work is shit, that's like bad. So I'm like, no, I don't want to. But I will have to because I, I do need to find money income and YouTube is just not something I like. Okay, that's about it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, maybe subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Hope dies last as they say. David Shepard wildlife conversation. Conservation.